<laughs> oh, that's Quentin. What the f***? I didn't know he actually played a role in this. Wow. I didn't expect Quentin to um, say that. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Pulp Fiction. Now, I have not seen this movie, but I do remember I was like five years old, right? And I'm super duper bored one day and I want to watch a movie. So I'm looking through the movies we have and I see a VHS tape. I know, right? Super duper old. A VHS tape of Pulp Fiction. And I was like, oh, that looks interesting. So I asked my dad, like, hey, can I watch this? And he just looks at me and he just goes, fuck no. And I was like, why? Like, why can't I watch this? And I didn't get it when I was a kid, but he was like, you know, you'll understand why when you're older. And yeah. Then when I was about 13 or 14, I was at my friend's house one night. And he was like, you want to watch a movie? And I was like, yeah, sure. And he's like, you want to watch Pulp Fiction? And I was like, yeah, sure. I've never seen that. And he was like, you've never fucking seen this movie. He's like, this movie's iconic. So, but it was already like 2 or 30 in the morning when we started it. So like, I watched like the first like 20-ish, 25 minutes of it. And like, I was really into it. I thought it was really good, but I fell asleep so, since it was already super late. And I just never finished it because I went home the next day. But one thing I do remember about it was I really enjoyed the dialogue of it. So that's one thing I hear a lot about Quentin Tarantino, Quentin Tarantino movies is the dialogue is always always phenomenal that's one thing i've always heard about his movies and i do want to get into more of his movies for the channel so we're going to be doing a quentin tarantino spree of movies on this channel so so anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this movie if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon as well as early access to the next two quentin, Tar quentin tarantino movies will also be available on patreon as well as youtube membership so click the join button down below or click the playlist to see, to see which movies i have available for early access but anyways let's get started Pulp, soft, moist, shapeless, massive matter. Nice. I needed that reminder. Forget it. It's too risky. I'm through. Never again. Too dangerous. Since I'm never gonna do it again, you're never gonna have to hear me quack that I'm never gonna do it again. I'm taking the same risk as when you rob a bank. I'm taking more of a risk. Banks are easier. Federal banks ain't supposed to stop you in any way during a robbery. You're insured. Why should they give a fuck? Into a bank with a telephone, not a shotgun, but a fucking phone. Cleans the place out. Well, yeah, they can't take the risk. The point of the story isn't a little girl. The point of the story is they robbed a the bank with a telephone. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we did, it'd be easier than what we've been doing. And no more liquor stores? What have we been talking about? Yeah, no more liquor stores. Yeah, no, I don't think a fucking bank is easier than a goddamn liquor store, dude. This place? What's wrong with that? Nobody ever robs restaurants. Why not? I feel like that's pretty immoral, to be honest. Like, they don't deserve it. Restaurants, on the other end, you catch with their pants down. Like, They're not expecting to get robbed. It's unethical, you know? I get, robbing anything's unethical, but robbing a restaurant's more unethical. If it's like a family-owned business, that's fucked, you know? Forget it. No way they're taking a bullet for the register. And pay $1.50 an hour. Really give a fuck you're stealing from the owner? Customers sitting there with food in their mouths. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, what if a customer has a gun on them? Then they'll just kill you and stop you. Like, that shit happened in Texas, like, not too long ago, actually. I saw the video, that shit was crazy. I'm ready, let's do it, right now, right here. Same as last time, remember? <coughs> Your crowd control. I'll handle employees. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember much of this. Like I said, I only saw like the first, the first like 20, 25 minutes, but like, I don't even remember what I saw. It's been like nine or 10 years since then. Damn, I miss my friend. But yeah, the dialogue in that scene was really good. It makes me not want to talk. It makes me just want to listen. What is that? And is this the end of the movie? Why are we getting so many credits? <laughs> like, oh my god, dude, this is like, dude, this is equivalent to Halloween. <laughs> if you know, you know. Dude, it's the movie fucking over. <laughs> like. The funniest thing about Europe is what? It's a little differences. And you know what they call a, a, a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? Metric system. They wouldn't know what the fuck a quarter pounder is. And what do they call it? They call it uh, the Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. That's right. What do they call it? Why? I don't know. I didn't go on a burger chain. No one does. I think her biggest deal was she starred in a pilot. Pilot? What's a pilot? First episode of a TV show. I don't watch TV. So what'd he do, fucker? No, 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 no. Gave her a foot massage. Then what'd Marcellus do? Sent a couple of cats over to his place. They took him out on his patio, threw his ass over the balcony. Damn. You don't be giving Marcellus Wallace's new bride a foot massage. You don't think he overreacted? Well, 
Yeah, that's what I'm probably gonna expect. I mean, is it, is it as bad as eating her pussy out? No. It was the same fucking ball pump. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. Eating a bitch out and giving a bitch a foot massage ain't even the same fucking thing. Yeah, it's not. No, it's it's the same ballpark. Ain't no. no fucking ballpark, neither. But you know, touching this wife's feet and sticking your tongue in the holiest of holies ain't the same fucking ballpark. It ain't the same <laughs> league. It ain't even the same fucking sport. Yeah. But foot massages don't mean shit. It's, ro it's a romantic, I guess, but it could lead to other things. I wouldn't want someone giving my girl a foot massage. This is the door. Yeah, it is. Okay, see what they're doing with the dialogue here. They're just kind of talking about bullshit or whatever, but it makes them feel like real people. So I like that. Like usually movie characters wouldn't be talking about personal shit like this or whatever, just whatever, you know? I'm sure they're setting something up for later, but like still, it just sounds like they're just talking as like they're just bros talking about like whatever. And like, they're still arguing about the foot massage thing, you know, like two dudes would. Like they would take that forever. And Antoine should have fucking better known better. I mean, that's his fucking wife, man. Yeah, but he didn't deserve to get thrown off a damn balcony. <laughs> Smack him once or twice, give him a backhand and be like, don't do that shit again. But it sounds like Marcel's is someone you don't fuck with in the first place. So it's like, hey, kids, how you boys doing? Hey, keep chilling. <laughs> We're associates of your business partner, Marcellus Wallace. You do remember your business partner, don't you? I thought they were cops. No, I guess not. Like before watching it, I thought they were. You remember your business partner, Marcellus Wallace, don't you, Brett? I, I remember. Good. Hey, owe him money? Hamburgers, the cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. That's disgusting for breakfast. They got some tasty burgers. I ain't never had one myself. How are they? They're good. You mind if I try one of yours? Yeah, look how nervous this dude is. This dude, Brett. Like, Sam Jackson's being... He's being friendly, but it's also really intimidating because cause Brett knows he's in trouble. It's like a type of power play, you know? Just come in here, eat his food, drink his drink. You know why we're here? Why don't you tell my man, Vince, where you got the shit here at? It's over there. It's I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't know that was from this movie. <laughs> we happy? Yeah, we happy. The fuck's in there? What? Is there a light in there? Right, but but I, I never got you. My name's Pitt, and your ass ain't talking your way out of this. Shit. <laughs> I just want you to know how. You're up here, and you need to be down here. Mm. We, we got into this thing with the best intentions, really. Mm. I never. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? <laughs> Please, continue. <clears throat> What's the matter? Oh, you were finished. Oh, well, allow me to retort. <laughs> what does Marcellus Wallace look like? What? What country are you from? What? What? What ain't no country I ever heard of. <laughs> they speak English and what? <laughs> What? English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Yes! Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like! What? Say what again! <laughs> Say what again! Oh, I dare so... you! I double dare you, motherfucker! Say what one more goddamn time! God damn. This new Brett's so scared. Does he look like a bitch? <laughs> what? <laughs> of course Does not. He look like a a bitch! No. no. Why are you trying to fuck him like a bitch, Brett? <laughs> Bro, he's just setting, he's just set, he set that up so good. Ezekiel 25, 17. The path of the... <laughs> Damn. I don't fuck around. Think you're gonna find. He's in this? Bruce Willis is in this? The fuck? I didn't know that. But painful as it may be, ability don't last. You came close, but you never made it. And if you were gonna make it, you, you would have made it before now. Yeah, you would have. That's a hard pill to swallow for a boxer. Night of the fight, you may feel a slight sting. That's pride. Oh, he's, he's paying them to lose the fight. Pride. Pride only hurts. It never helps. True. I had no problem with that, Mr. Wallace. In the fifth, your ass goes down. I mean, yeah, he'll probably make more money 
fixing this fight, losing on purpose, than he would from actually trying to box legitimately and trying to win on his own, you know? He was never that good enough to make it that far on his own anyway. Where's the big man? Oh, big man's right over there taking care of some business. I'm not a fucking idiot, all right? It's a big man's wife. I'm gonna sit across from her, chew my food, my mouth closed, laugh at her mm -hmm. fucking jokes, and that's it. Make her happy, you know? I'll do my job. Vincent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vincent. Seen that clip where he like turns around. A lot of memes in this movie. This song's good. The fuck is this place? <laughs> this is Jack Rabbit Slim. Steak. You can get a steak here, Daddy O. Don't be a. <laughs> Don't be a square. Yeah, this is Wallace's wife. So watch. At the end of it, she's probably gonna ask him to massage her feet, and he's gonna be like, "Fuck." <laughs> Damn, we're gonna eat in a car. That's pretty sick. Super retro. <laughs> hey, with that shake, Martin and Lewis or Amos and Andy? Martin and Lewis. Did you just order a five dollar shake? Yeah, back in the day, five dollars is a lot. <laughs> That's five dollars. You don't put bourbon in or nothing. <laughs> Just check him. Ain't nothing up. Yeah, she's definitely into him. Like the way she's looking at him, but he's he can't do anything, bro. <laughs> like I heard you did a pilot. That was my 15 minutes. It was a show about a team of female secret agents called Fox Force Five. French Fox's speciality was sex. What was your special? Knives. Is that a Kill Bill reference? Because I know she's the same actress in Kill Bill. I haven't seen that either. But well, we're gonna get to it. Don't be that way, tell me. Nah, you wouldn't like it and I'd be embarrassed. You'd be embarrassed. You told like 50 million people and you can't tell me. You already said it on TV. I promise I won't laugh. That's what I'm afraid of, Vince. Now I'm definitely not gonna tell you because it's been built up too much. <sighs> Yummy. You think I can have a sip of that? Yeah, he wants to see why the fuck it's $5. dollars i got to know what a $5 shake tastes like. <laughs> you can use my straw, I don't have cooties. Yeah, but maybe I do. Cooties I can handle. Mm. She likes them. God damn, it's a pretty fucking good milkshake. <laughs> Don't you hate that? Hate what? Uncomfortable silences. Why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable? That's when you know you found somebody really special. Yeah, you can sit in silence with them. Just shut the fuck up for a minute. Mm -hmm. Comfortably share silence. You seem like a really nice person, and I. I don't want to offend you. It doesn't sound like the usual mindless, boring, getting to know you chit chat. This sounds like you actually have something to say. But you have to promise not to be offended. No, 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 that. I have no idea what you're going to ask me. If you can go ahead and ask me what you're going to ask me, and my natural response could be to get offended, then through no fault of my own, I would have broken my promise. I feel like he had nothing to say. He just was like, uh, he, he built it up just to not say anything, because that's what she did with the joke. Here goes. Oh, never mind. What did you uh, think about what happened to Antoine? Who's Antoine? Tony. Did you rub your feet? He fell out of a window. Hmm? No, she doesn't give a fuck. Well, that is one way to say it. Another way to say it would be that he was thrown out. Another way would be was he was thrown out by Marcellus. To say he was thrown out of a window by Marcellus because of you. This is what I heard. Who told you? Don't worry about they. it. Yeah, they. <laughs> and? And, no and nothing. That's it. You heard Marcellus? Through Tony Rocky Hard at a four story window for giving me a foot massage? Oh, is that not true? Can you believe that? She could be lying. Like she Marcellus throwing Tony out of a four story window for massaging my feet seem reasonable? No. <laughs> Excessive, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. I mean, I understand that Marcellus is very, very protective of you. A husband being protective of his wife is one thing. A husband almost killing another man for touching his wife's feet is something else. But did it happen? The only thing Antoine ever touched in mind was my hand when he shook it. Truth is, nobody knows why Marcellus threw Tony out of that four-story window except Marcellus and Tony. I mean, he could have done it because because he massaged her feet, and now she's she's just saying that because it kind of makes her look bad too. So she's kind of just diffusing it. Now who will be our first contestants? Right here. Want to dance? No, 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 no. No, no. We're dancing. I do believe Marcellus, my husband, your boss, told you to take me out and do whatever I wanted. And now I want to dance. I want to win. <laughs> I want that trophy. 
I'd fall. I'd fall so quick. All right, let's see what you can do. Take it away. Yeah. <sighs> oh, gosh. I think Vincent's about to be so stiff all dancing. It's going to be so bad. Mia, she'll probably be pretty decent, but Vincent, nah. Waiting and the old folks wish to <laughs> <laughs> He's doing like the easiest thing to do. Ooh, 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 okay, okay, I can't do that. Okay, that's actually pretty sick what he's doing. Oh. <laughs> well, there you're gonna say good night. I've had a very lovely evening. Go home, jerk off, and that's all you. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh, another lit. Oh, oh. Oh, she, oh, she's overdosing. Shit. She just died? Oh, shit. All right, Mia. So listen, I gotta go. You f Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. Oh. What are you supposed to do? You gotta take her to the hospital. Don't fucking die on me, Mia. Yeah. If she dies while he's with her, then it's, it's probably gonna get blamed on him, even though it wasn't his fault. It's just like, oh, he's calling you a drug dealer. I mean, shit, dude, he might know what to do. He'll, he'll probably know what to do. Bro, oh, answer. Hello. Lance! Vincent! I got this chick, she's fucking ODing on me. Well, don't bring her here. I'm not even fucking joking with you, man. Do not be bringing some fucked up poop out to my house. No choice. She, uh, are you talking to me on a cellular phone? I don't know you. Who is this? Don't come here. I'm hanging up the phone. Prank caller, prank caller! Jesus, you're just in case. <laughs> Bro, we just fucking crap. You are not Lance, bringing this fuck that bitch into my house! Bitch, is Marcellus Wallace's wife. Do you know who Marcellus Wallace is? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Well, if she croaks on me, I'm a fucking grease spot. I am. I will be forced to tell him that you did not help and that, uh. and that you let her die on your fucking lawn. Now, come on, help me. I get Lance not wanting any fucking biz, anything to do with this. Fucking around and give her the shot. Come on. Okay, you take off her shirt and find her. You got it? Okay. Dude, that's a long ass fucking needle. Holy shit. Let's hurry up, man. Okay, hurry up. Yo. Here, I'll tell you what to do. No, 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 man, man, man. Oh, he's not gonna. I'm not fucking doing that. You're gonna give it a shot. I ain't giving it a shot. I ain't giving it a shot. I ain't never done it before either, all right? I ain't starting now. Look, you brought her here, and that means that you're gonna give it a shot. The day that I bring an ODM bitch to your house, then I give her the shot. <laughs> gotta pierce through that. So, what you gotta do is you gotta bring the needle down in a stabbing motion. Oh. I, I, gotta, I gotta stab her oh three times. Oh my god. Time. No, you don't gotta fucking stab her three times. You gotta stab her once, but it's gotta be hard enough to get through her breastplate into her. <laughs> Okay, then, what's ha then what happens? Uh, she fucking comes back to life. All right, count to three. Ready? One. Uh, I feel like the needle would break as like, you know, it's too long, you know? It's a small three. surface to be doing it from up here. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's deep in her. Oh my God. If you're all right, say something. Something. Bro, she's good, I guess. Don't do drugs, kids. Oh, oh shit, okay, I guess, I guess she's, I guess she's good, fuck. Bro, if I, okay, if I was doing that and I started like all the way up here, I'm missing that dot by like this much at least. <laughs> That's such a tiny dot to like hit from all the way up here. Like I'm going way too far to the right. I'm of the opinion that if Marcellus lived his whole life, he don't need to know nothing about this incident. Yeah, we don't need that dumb shit. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go home and have a heart attack. <laughs> Vincent, do you want to hear my Fox Force 5 joke? <laughs> sure. Lighten the mood. It's a little too petrified to laugh. No, you won't laugh because it's not funny. Three tomatoes are walking down the street. Papa tomato, mama tomato. Baby tomato starts lagging behind and Papa tomato gets really angry. Squishes him, says ketchup. <laughs> so she's right. That was fucking corny. I have one that's worse. What part of the hospital do you get the least privacy in? The ICU. Okay, fine, fine. I have another one. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. Now, do you remember when I told you your daddy died in the POW camp? <laughs> this here is Captain Coons. He was in the POW camp with daddy. His watch was on your daddy's wrist when he was shot down over that Hanoi. And so he hid it. In one place he knew he could hide something, his ass. Oof. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't really want that anymore. <laughs> Give me the watch. I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass two years. Man, I gave the watch to you. Thanks, I guess. 
That was a lot of setup for that joke. <laughs> I can't keep all that dialogue in because I'll get copyrighted. He's not going to be able to do it. His, his pride is going to get in the way and he's not going to be able to get knocked out in the fifth or whatever, but... It's official. Wilson is dead. Well, then that had to be the bloodiest and hands down the most brutal fight to see. Coolidge was out of there faster than I've ever seen a victorious boxer leave the ring. He's doing, I think, any man would have left the ring that fast. Dan, the tragedy is going to have an effect on the world oh, of boxing. Oh, Richard, a tragedy. Oh, damn, so he actually died. Yeah, so he took his money. Knocked the dude out and dipped. So his pride wouldn't let him do it. So he's not like a bum ass boxer. He's probably like paid to lose to a guy who's up and coming though. They want to pad the other guy's record to make him look better. And Butch, Butch is probably like a legit boxer. So it would be a credible win for the other guy who was fighting if he knocked out Butch in the fifth round. But Butch's pride wouldn't let him do it. So he took, but he took the money. The first person I've ever met was killed somebody. I was like, this is like the worst driving car effect I've ever seen. Like that background's a completely just black and white. What does it mean? I'm an American, honey. Our names don't mean shit. <laughs> I want to know what it feels like to kill a man. You couldn't tell. I don't feel the least bit bad about it. Hey, fuck him, Scotty. If he's a better boxer, he'd still be alive. Ooh. How long to collect? So you have it all by tomorrow night? No. Yeah. Yeah, so he had his buddy bet on him to win when the odds were super stacked against him. Ooh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Easy mm. oh. Blueberry pie to go with the pancakes. Slice of melted cheese. Where's my watch? Does have his dad's pocket watch. It's there. What's that? Yes, yeah, a fucking look. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? You sure you got it? Yes, bedside table drawer. And the little kangaroo? Yeah, well, it's not here now. Well, it should be. Bro, your dad shoved it up his ass, and so did his comrade. Like, I, I know it means a lot to you, but like, dog. No, he's tweaking now. It's my father's fucking watch. You have any idea what he had to go through to get me that watch? I don't have time to go into it, but he went through a lot. <laughs> he's never gonna tell her. We reminded you not to forget the fucking watch! You said, what the fuck does that mean? You either did, or you didn't get it! I think she got it. Are you sure? And it's just, she just put it somewhere else besides your suitcase. Uh... Oh shit. Fucking stupid, you fucking are! No! It's not your fault. Well, I guess you gotta go back for it. And that's how you're gonna get caught. She left that at the apartment. It's not your fault. I had to bring a bunch of stuff. Wow, he just went from super angry to super calm. What the fuck? Didn't illustrate how personal the watch was to me. Okay, now he's like being rational about it. What? He probably, he probably felt bad for scaring her, making her feel bad. Okay. He's going back. I go back to my apartment. Get my watch. Gangsters be looking for you there. That's what I'm gonna find out. I think I can handle it. I'm gonna split. I saw your watch. I thought I brought it. She probably did. He's gonna go back for nothing. Yeah, I'll be back before you can say blueberry pie. Blueberry pie. <laughs> Damn. If he dies, I'm gonna feel. I'm gonna feel bad for her. <laughs> I think what makes the dialogue really good is like how much detail is in it really gets you connected into the story and it makes the characters relatable because it, it just it feels like stuff they would say and elaborate on too bro i'd put a jill goldberg hat on just to be safe you know just in case they see you they won't recognize you <laughs> i mean there's a chance they've already gone to your apartment it's probably trash so if the watch is here it's probably broken they probably broke it or took it or something so they wouldn't be here now though if they already came and looked for you here or they could be sitting outside of, like, on the street right here in their car just waiting for you until you show up. Or he's going to go in the apartment and they're already going to be in there just chilling, waiting, you know? Like when you come home super late and your parents just chilling on the couch, just waiting for you to come home. Kind of like, you know, like that. Oh, my camera turned off. What the fuck? I think what makes the dialogue really good is, like, how much detail is in it really gets you connected into the story and it makes the characters relatable because it, it just, it feels like stuff they would say and elaborate on too. Oh, he's so nervous to go in this apartment right now. Should be. Oh, it was right there. Okay, now get the fuck out of here. Don't waste any time. Go, go, go. No, why are you, why are you looking around? Just leave. Oh my god. No, you don't have time. He's gonna die. They're gonna find him because he's digging around now making fucking Pop-Tarts. Eat those in the car, if anything. Like, What did he notice? Someone's been here? Oh, fuck. That, pfft. 
Take that and leave. They're in the bathroom. You just gotta kill them immediately. Fuck it. <gasps> Wait, what the fuck? Oh shit. Uh, what do you, what do you do? Oh my god. Damn. Oh shit. I mean, Bruce Willis did the right thing, I think. Like, that, like for sure. I didn't think it was John Travolta in here. Damn, that's disappointing. Yeah, he did. Well, he got his watch. Oh, it's- Oh, fuck, that's him. Oh, uh, it's, that's Marcellus. Bro, do you just run him over? What do you do? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my! Can't even get away. Fuck. Can I help you with something? Shut the fuck up. Come here, motherfucker! You feel that sting, big boy, huh? That's pride fucking with you, see? Somebody's gonna get their motherfucking head blown up! Ooh! Oh shit. Say none of your business, mister. You're not killing him in my store. You don't understand, man. Toss the weapon. <laughs> yeah, the spider just killed a couple of flies. What's that code for? Oh god, what the fuck is this? This guy's a fucking weirdo. Well, bring out the gimp. What? Yeah. What the f What the fuck? They just keep a person in the box? I guess that means you, big boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they better do some BDSM shit to them, dude. They got the gag balls in and the gimp. Better do some dominatrix shit. Oh. <laughs> Bro, do you go back and help him, though? Nah, he tried to kill you. He's not- he much isn't helping him. Oh, is he? Does he feel bad? Uh, oh, he's going back. He's going back to help Marcellus. Yeah, if he saves Marcellus, then they could call it even. So, is there a gun up here? Maybe. Oh, no. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what do you see? What could be better? Yeah. Oh, a katana. Fuck yeah. Could you kill someone with a katana? I mean, I know you could, but like, do you have it in you to be able to do it is what I mean. I don't think I could. <laughs> like, idea of slicing them? Like, ah, I don't know. I don't know. I guess if, like, it's life or death and now, but shooting them is just so much easier. Like, there's a high percentage chance this could all, this could fail. Dude, just slice his fucking head off. Slice his damn head off. Don't waste any time. Oh! Alright, yeah, that works. <laughs> you want that gun, don't you, Zed? Can I pick it up? Come on, Zed, up, boy. Just, he's teasing him. Oh, Marcellus. Oh, shit. Sorry, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Fucking dickhead. Put that right up to his head right there and just do it again. I'm pretty fucking far from okay. <laughs> you hear me talking, hillbilly boy? I ain't through with you by uh. damn sight. I'm gonna get medieval on your ass. I'm <laughs> gonna <laughs> get medieval. <laughs> I tell you what now between me and you. There is no me in you. Not no more. Yeah, we cool. Don't tell nobody about this. It ain't nobody else's business. You leave town tonight. It's a chopper, baby. Whose chopper is this? Zed's. Who's Zed? <laughs> Zed's dead, baby. <laughs> Zed's dead. All right. I'll give her back to Sam Jackson. This guy was hiding in the back. He's about to pop out. When I lay my vengeance upon me. <laughs> I'd knock that shit off if I was you. No. Nah, you <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, he fucking missed that badly and just got the. Um... 
Yeah, bro, you deserve to die. Like, that was pathetic. Well, we technically got Vincent back now. Back in the beginning. We should be fucking dead, man. <laughs> yeah. This was divine intervention. You know what divine intervention is? That means that God came down from heaven and stopped the bullets? That's right. It's God came down from heaven and stopped these motherfucking bullets. How else would you explain him missing it, missing that battle <laughs> from that close? If this happened to me, I would start believing after. If I had it already. This would convince me. I mean, that's it for me. From here on in, you consider my ass retired. Jeez, Marvin, what do you make of all this? Man, I don't even have an opinion. Well, you gotta have an opinion. I mean, do you think that God came Bro, down don't from point heaven and stopped Oh, oh my, my fucking God! Oh man, I shot Marvin in the face. Why the fuck did you do that? I didn't mean to do it, it was an accident. That's exactly why. You don't point your fucking gun at people. You can't hit no motherfucking bump. Hey, look, man, I didn't, I didn't mean to shoot the son of a bitch. The gun went off. I don't know why. Oh, he probably hit a bump, and your finger was on the fucking trigger. So like, we gotta get this car off the road. You know, cops tend to notice shit like you're driving a car and piss their fucking blood. Just... <laughs> I'm calling my partner in Toluca Lake. Where's Jimmy? Yo, how you doing, man? It's Jewel. Damn, R.I.P. Marvin. God damn, Jimmy. <laughs> this some serious going man shit. <laughs> Me and Vincent. Oh, that's Quentin. What the fuck? I didn't know he actually played a role in this. I don't need you to tell me how fucking good my coffee is, okay? Yeah, that's him. But you know what's on my mind right now? It ain't the coffee in my kitchen. It's the- Wow. Jesus fucking Christ. I didn't expect Quentin to um, say that. 30 minutes away. I'll be there in 10. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf. Solve problems. The sink, you got a bunch of cleaners and cleansers and shit like that? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Wolf, under the sink. Good. I like the levels in the shot right here. You have Quentin, you have the wolf, and then you have um, you have Sam Jackson, John Travolta. Makes it an interesting shot to look at. Boys, get to work. A please would be nice. You come again? I said a please would be nice. Bro, shut up. No, do what you're fucking told. I'm not here to say please. I'm here to tell you what to do. He's here to help you. I just don't like people barking orders at me. Vincent, just go, dude. Just go fucking do it. Oh, pretty please. With sugar on top. Clean the fucking car. Yeah, all right? I can feel your look. Yeah, bro. If I was Sam Jackson, I'd be fucking pissed at him all day, dude. Like, Mr. Wolf did say in, like, every disrespectful way, bro. He's he's just trying to get this shit done as quick as possible. So it's just a go, go, go type of mentality, you know? That once a man admits that he is wrong, that he is immediately forgiven for all wrongdoings. Have you ever heard that? No, that's stupid. Get the fuck out of my face with that shit. <laughs> that shit never had to pick up any bitty pieces of skull on account of your dumb ass. Mm -hmm. No bad. Damn, they cleaned the car pretty fast. Like, less than 40 minutes. Because his wife's not home yet. You're dry enough. Toss in their clothes. <laughs> oh, that's why they came to Marcellus is dressed like that. I was wondering, like, why did they change out of the suits? And I was like, why are they wearing what they're wearing? Like, I guess it's just, like, the 90s, you know? <laughs> like... Yeah, I'll go for some breakfast. You feel like having breakfast? Cool. Didn't even, you know, you didn't really get pissed when you were fucking with him. Is this the same restaurant as the beginning of the movie that it opened with? I wouldn't go so far as to call a dog filthy, but they're definitely dirty. Dogs got personality. Personality goes the wrong way. Uh, so by that rationale, if a pig had a better personality, he'd cease to be a filthy animal. We have to be talking about one charming motherfucking pig. <laughs> I mean, he had to be ten times more charming than that arm on green acres, you know? Yeah, see, it's just like bullshit like that that they're talking about. It makes it feel like, it makes it feel a lot more like personalized. How just like one comment of him saying he doesn't eat bacon turned into like that whole conversation. Most movies don't have dialogue like that. You serious? You really thinking about quitting? Most definitely. Fuck. Yeah, I probably would too after that close of a call. You got lucky once, doesn't mean you will again. That's the way you and I differ. Got some! Yep. It's from the very beginning. But water into wine, I, man. If my answers frighten you, Vincent, then you should cease asking scary questions. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shit. Vincent, he wants, like, you make a comment to Vincent, and he's just gonna, like, try and get you to say exactly what he wants to hear, you know? But they're here, so are they gonna stop the robbery now that that couple's trying to do? Sam Jackson's gonna play this. He's gonna play this so fucking cool. I already know it. Yeah, bro, there's so many people to like keep track of and contain here. It's like, it's not, it's so hard to do a robbery with just two people on a restaurant. I think you got a hero here, honey bunny. Well, just execute him. Like, how much money do they really have in their registers right now? Collect your wallets. You don't fuck Good. Now, wallets out. Hmm. 
Yeah, look how fucking calm he is. It's in a case. My boss is dirty laundry. Open it. Hate to shatter your ego, but this ain't the first time I've had a gun pointed at me. Guns and problems. You'll get us all killed. Give him what you got and get him out of here. Shut the fuck up, fat man. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna count to three. If you don't open that case, I'm gonna unload in your fucking face. No, you won't. You ain't squeezing shit. One. She doesn't even think he'll do it. Three. Okay, Ringo. What's even in the case? Because they never showed us. Yeah, they the camera fucking pans up. Okay. As he opens it so we can't see. All right. Ooh. Mm, gotcha. Say bitch, be cool. Be cool. Say bitch, be cool. Tell that fucking bitch to chill. Be cool. Chill that fucking bitch. <laughs> All right, now tell us it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Pro all right, now Yolanda, we're not gonna do anything stupid, are we? Don't you hurt him. Nobody's gonna hurt anybody. We're all gonna be like three little Fonzies here. <laughs> we're gonna be cool. Okay, now you let him go. Yolanda, I thought you were gonna be cool. <laughs> you hurt him. You die. Normally, both your assets would be dead as fucking fried chicken. <laughs> but you happen to pull this shit while I'm in a transitional period, and I don't want to kill you. I can't give you this case. Cause it don't belong to me. Yolanda, mm. it's cool, baby. It's cool. <laughs> we still just talking. Come on, point the gun at me. Dude, I fucking love Sam Jackson. And I fucking love him in this. How we doing, baby? I'm gonna go home. Yeah, baby, you're doing great. I'm proud of you. Love you. It's almost over. Tell her you're proud of her. Proud of you, honey bunny. I like how Sam Jackson's handling it. Which one is it? It's the one that says bad motherfucker. <laughs> That's my. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> Open it up. Take out the money. About fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, put it in your pocket. It's yours. Hmm. With the rest of those wallets in the register, that makes this a pretty successful little score. Huh? And then round fifteen hundred dollars, and I'll shoot him on general principle. No, Yolanda, Yolanda, he ain't gonna do a goddamn motherfucking thing. Bitch, shut the fuck up. I'm buying something for my money. You wanna know what I'm buying, Ringo? My life. Your life. When I lay my vengeance upon you, I've been saying that shit for years. I never gave much thought to what it meant. I just thought it was some cold blooded <laughs> shit to say to a motherfucker before I popped a cap in his head. <laughs> yeah, they're never gonna rob shit ever again, guaranteed. I think we should be leaving now. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay, well, well. That was Pulp Fiction. And yeah, the dialogue in this movie really stood out. It was, it was really good. It was really, it was phenomenal. Even though there wasn't that much action really going on, like there was at times, but for the most part, there wasn't. It's the dialogue that kept me interested in it, you know? I think Sam Jackson had the best performance in this whole movie. Honestly, like the way he just delivered his lines, it was really good. I think this movie ages aged really well too because there's not like a million different cuts happening you know like i i noticed they held shots for a pretty long time too like relatively a long time like when two characters were talking i would expect to hit the cut back and forth between them but no it just held a shot between it just held one shot in there for the most part and it kept me interesting like okay oh i actually have time to look around in the shot and like see and see like what's going on and it's like oh well they're holding the shot for a reason let me look around you know and like while i'm listening to it but yeah there were definitely some pretty fucked up lines in this movie for sure that i i will be cutting out for sure you know you know exactly which ones i'm talking about i kind of liked how he jumped from like one story to another and it like because first we started with them at the restaurant and then we jumped to vincent and jules going and killing brett and then we jumped to Bruce Willis talking to Marcellus, kind of mixed with, and that kind of mixed with Jules and Vincent coming in, you know, but it's, that's when Bruce Willis's part takes over and his boxing thing happens and he's on the run and he goes back for his watch and everything like that. And then Vincent takes Mia out on a date and then we jump back to Bruce Willis, how he's with his girlfriend and he has to go back for his watch and everything. And we jump back to Vincent and Jules right before they kill brett and everything also the dude that shot them and missed like six times i dude he looked he looked a lot like jerry seinfeld i couldn't i didn't say it because i was like who like i couldn't think of the name while i was watching and i didn't want to talk over it, it looked a lot like jerry seinfeld i thought it was him for a second 
I doubt it was, but but anyway. And then the whole incident with Marvin happens. They have to clean the car, and then they go to the, then they go and get breakfast, and it comes right back to the beginning in the restaurant. So that was really good. I think the end scene was probably my favorite scene out of this movie of them in the restaurant. I don't know, just the way that Sam Jackson played that entire scene. I really like to be honest. Kind of wish Sam Jackson was in the movie a bit more because, like I said, I think he had the best performance in it. At least for me, he did. I'm excited to watch more Quentin Tarantino movies. So comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. And if you like the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.